Hi guys, welcome to Techno How Technologies, and today's video is going to be on VLC Player. The reason why I'm doing a video on this is because I'd spoke about a Plex server for an upcoming video um, for your home media server, and I thought I would start out with this video so you guys know how to take a DVD and rip it into your computer to put it on a share for your media player so that's where I'm starting out with this so I have already downloaded and installed VLC player this is a free media player and you can install it on Linux or Windows whatever you would like to do I actually am running this on Ubuntu 18.04 so let's go ahead and get started I popped a DVD in already I'm gonna go to media convert save and then we're gonna go to disk have DVD selected if you have a blu-ray player in your PC and you can uh, have that functionality go ahead and copy uh, blu-rays as well I leave all this set as default and then I'm gonna go down here and then choose convert All right. now I already have my DVD in I usually leave it to this the video plus the mp3 that way it's getting both the audio and the video and then for the destination file you're gonna go ahead and click browse and then you're gonna choose where you want to put this like we can go ahead and put this out and just do Hobbit this is what I'm using as an example one of the Hobbit movies and then we're gonna click save and then start and it's gonna take a little while to run but just let it run its course and when you're done you'll have a copy of the DVD into your PC in the MP4 format now there are many other formats you can choose when you're ripping from the DVD into your PC um, this is just one of them that I use I always make sure that the format that you're using that um, is supported by the application is decoding it that's one thing you're going to want to look up just go ahead and do a simple Google search now like I said this is tying into a future video we're going to be doing a Plex server and we're going to install Plex get it up and running and point it to a share on a computer so that other devices can um, view what you have on that share now Plex is a very wonderful application it's free for the install and the download it's free to install it on um, say Roku and run it there but if you want to install it on multiple devices like Android iOS and your computer as well then they will charge you a monthly subscription to have the application to be able to run it I only use it in the one spot out on my Roku in the main entertainment area therefore I don't pay anything for it now there are other solutions and other things that you can use for media servers I just wanted to make sure that that got pointed out now I'm not gonna sit here and wait for you guys uh, make you watch this go all the way through to the two hours and 41 minutes of this movie but is what I will do is I'll go ahead and stop this just to show you guys kinda the output and what it looks like so I stopped Go ahead and close this. I'm going to pull this right over to here. And we're going to go into videos right where I put it. Now there it is. Open with other application because I actually want to open this with VLC Media Player. Select. It takes a little bit and there you go. I only recorded a small little bit of it, but there you go, it is running. So that is how you take from a physical medium, which is the DVD, and put it into your computer. So now this is in my videos folder on my PC. Now if I wanted to, I could just point Plex right to this folder, and it'll pick up and see that. So in the upcoming video, we will pick up where we left off, and I will install Plex on a Windows machine, I take it most of you people are going to be using Win uh, Windows. If you are using Linux, let me know and I can do a, a Linux one as well. But I'll install it on a Windows machine. 
and configure it and show you how to point Plex to the folder where all the movies are sitting and everything to set up. You do have to create an account and stuff. We'll go through all of that. And then some other upcoming videos is going to be some more Linux tutorials, some more home theater stuff. And then also I have a big one coming up on Nextcloud, installing on Ubuntu. So you can have your own cloud solution to back up your documents, photos, music, whatever you want. Um, it is on your physical machine, so it's consuming space on a physical machine. It's not an actual cloud. It's your own cloud. In other words, you created it. It's on your machine. So if you have a desktop that has a couple one terabyte drives in it, you can definitely install Nextcloud on it with Ubuntu and point it to one of those. And then you have a one terabyte backup solution. And if you configure the security correctly, you can access it from anywhere in the world. All right, once again, this is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please go ahead and do that below. Thank you.